Yeah, yeah, here we go, Kick Boys. We in the studio right here, Kick Boy Radio in Clarkston, Georgia. It's Wednesday, August 19th, and we got my boy Michael Isaiah in the building. What's, What's up, going Mike? On? What's going on? How are you, All my right. brother? Right. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yes, 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 man. Thank you for coming down to the station, Kick Boy Radio, man. Yeah, definitely. Most of it's, yes, it's a pleasure to have you for sure. Uh, we want to. We gonna get straight to the music. We know Michael Isaiah from Kickboy Radio sent his music in. Definitely, uh, he sent two tracks in. One was uh, New Panties, mm -hmm. definitely a hit. Definitely a hit. Uh, came in number two on the R&B Expo. Okay, and um, you got Losses and Gains, Lord which is a collab. Uh, who did you collab with on that one? Um, that was a uh, Rick Young Ricks. No, 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 that was uh, Grind. That was okay, Grind. right, right. That's the remix, actually, eh? No, Losses and Gains is the remix. It's the remix, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I mean. Losses and Gains the remix. My bad, my bad. No, no, you good, you good. But yeah, the song Young Rick featuring me, Michael Isaiah, is the mm -hmm. song Grind. And the song Losses and Gains remix is just me. Just me, myself. Right, and I. right. Uh, like I said, uh, shout out to uh, Kaisha Hills. Shout out to uh, Bugs. That uh, co-wrote the song with me. Okay. Shout out to Forefront Beats and uh, Billboard chart top and producer uh, Bricks Domain. I said he t uh, topped the Billboard two uh, hundred charts and everything. Okay. We're working with several artists in the industry, so that's why I said Billboard chart top and producer. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So doing your thing out there, doing your thing out there, definitely, definitely, man. So what else? I mean, what else? Uh, Michael Isaiah doing? He got any new music coming out? Is there any other? Uh, things that you're into. What, 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 what can Michael Isaiah tell us about himself? Uh, well, I um, I got some new music coming out. I'm definitely like having some new music coming out. And whatnot. Okay, okay. And uh, so I'm excited about that. I'm mm -hmm. um, putting out like uh, another strip joint or whatnot. Okay. Um, there, but it's going to be like a lot more up tempo. All and, right. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting out like a '90s slow jam type of record. So, okay, so you, you know, got you got a few things coming back out in the music. Yeah, man, definitely. And then, um, and then, uh, well, like I said, I'm working on like putting out projects, but like I said, it's it's, it's a process right now. I said, I, um, like I said, I just, just got to look at it as far as how I'm gonna set it up first. But right now, I'm just putting out singles. Okay, just okay, to feed okay. The people feed the streets, you know, and then like just keep staying consistent. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Let me ask you a question, personal question from Quick Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, if there was if if you had a chance to work with somebody in the industry, who would it be? As far as like producer, a sing, or singer, say a say a singer. If you had a chance to collab with a, a, a singer, singer or artist, who would it be? With a singer? Yes. Hmm. Uh, you could put, uh, if it's a rapper before a singer. Let me know who it is. Just a collab. Who would you like to collab with? Who you think would be your well, best collaboration? Well, well, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna, I know you said one, but I'm saying three. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I, I gotta say three. Okay, the so we're gonna make it a we are the world type the, thing. Okay. Yeah, the first R&B <laughs> singer that I would want to collab with is SZA. Okay. In the, um, top dog entertainment and everything with Kendrick Lamar and them. Indeed, I know SZA. I'm familiar yeah, with SZA, the music. Ella May, like I said, known for that boot up record. Okay. Da, 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 yeah. Up. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, the last. R&B singer who I would want to work with is Chris Brown. Cool. Always, 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 always wanted to work with Chris Brown. Okay, you okay, know? okay, okay. On that... top of that, like I said, he he, he a Taurus like me, so. All right, you know, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Now that's the first time, you know, in, in any of my interviews have anybody actually stayed. You know, you get the artist, the rap artist to stay that up to date with the uh, people they want to do collabs with. But for R and B, usually you get uh, you know somebody wants to do something with a Mariah Carey or a Mary J. Blige. So that was kind of the first time I ever actually heard somebody go that that you know young with the singers they want to collab with. That's cool. Yeah, I could. That's cool. I, yeah, and that's the thing. Like I could say like as far as the art, like legendary R and B artists, but I'm looking at as far as the R and B artists who are hot now. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Right. I asked you who you want to collab with, so those were your choices. Those were your choices. Those were the ways you saw your dream coming true. Mm -hmm. So I got you. I got you. So uh, anything else you doing out there? Um, I, I've been doing several films and whatnot. 
Uh, I did several films. I did five films as a background actor. I did one film as a main actor, and then I, I was on this reality show where I had audition for Killer Mike and T-Pay and called the stage that's going to be on Netflix soon. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the movie Lit, where I had a speaking role and everything, um, you know, like I said, uh, that's out on YouTube, and it's going to be on digital streams soon. Okay. Um, I play as this guy called uh, Deontay Miller, a.k.a. Chubbs, but people in the streets call him Chubbs. Okay. And, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's a character in there that, like, like I said, you know, he's he's like a um, like a charismatic, um, I said funny and kind of arrogant type of dude and everything, but like I said, but he means no harm or whatnot to nobody. You know, just living his life, doing his thing. And you know, but like I said, I can't. I don't want to say too much of it, of it and everything. Y'all just gonna have to watch. Y'all gonna have to go yourselves. check it out. That's all right. right. You have to go check it out. You can check it out on YouTube. All right, yeah, all right. Gotta, now, what, what's that YouTube address gotta, where they can check it out? You got that link? Purchase nothing yet, so this is your chance to watch it now. Okay. Do you do you have that YouTube link where they can check it out? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Okay, okay, okay. Do you, um, we'll we'll get that link up on um. Maybe on the screen a little later, okay? So y'all check that link out where we can get it on YouTube. And y'all can check that movie out lit, yeah. okay? And check out Mr. Chubbs and see what this, uh, yeah, right. like, this character is like. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, ever since um, like the movie was put out and I was showing my family and friends, mm -hmm. it's like people sitting up there, like, calling me Chubbs and shit. I don't All know, right. that nigga's wilding. Uh, yeah, well, you, know, you know that's what it's like. You know that's what it's like for the actors. They, uh... <laughs> I even heard some actors say, I mean, you know, that played some uh, villains in movies. They even get chewed out later. Like, you right. know, people look at them like, oh, you were so disgusting. Right, right. <laughs> like, that was just <laughs> acting. All right, right. <laughs> and I, I'm doing another film and everything real soon or whatnot. Like I said, I, I got, I'm doing some other films real soon where I'm going to be like having some more speaking roles. So y'all be on the lookout about that. Okay. Might come out sooner than y'all think. Now, who was the director out. of Lit? Who, who directed that one? Um, my boy Carlos, aka not Mr. Nine Dimensional, he he um he wrote, pro um he he wrote, produced, and filmed that whole thing. Okay, and okay, he did a real good job at it. All right, know. all right. Big shout out to Mr. Nine Dimensional, man, the director of Lit. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I've seen a few actually of Mr. Nine Dimensional's joints. Was were you in another commercial? Did y'all do like a small skit or a commercial or yeah, either mixtape or pizza? Was you, was that you in that? No, no, that was somebody else. Oh, okay, okay. That was okay. somebody else. <laughs> I, I've seen a few of some of his things and uh, yeah, they're very, very comical. But yeah. I, I know, you know, they got one of, uh, one of them I did. One, one of them I did. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, it was a thing where like I had broke the chair and the title was called like Why, uh, The Look You Have When You Watch The Breakdown Literally. And then Drake's song comes on, like the song, um, that song, Nice For What. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's sampled okay. by Lauryn Hill. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. That's something I got to check out. I don't think I saw that one. Yeah. I don't saw it. I didn't see that one. Yeah. So uh, is there anything else Michael Isaiah is doing out there? We know we you got the music. You got some more music coming. Mm -hmm. And you got your inner film. And I'm going to be doing some more films. And you got so. some more work coming in film, too, so... You're going to be a busy guy, staying relevant in the, in the, in the industry, huh? Exactly. Okay. This is like the one that I'm going to be coming out with soon, this other film. This is going to be like, this is going to be my eighth film, to be exact. So okay. let everybody know. Eight films, eight films. So this man is, uh, you know, he heading, uh, he's heading that way. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely, man. So uh, what's, what's, what's going on in relationships, man? You got a girl right now? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say that I have a girlfriend. But I mean, I recently like was uh, dating and everything, but you know, like things just wasn't working out and everything and stuff. Not just because of how we are personally, but just because of the fact, as far as you know, we're work wise and time wise. It was all right, working all right, out. yeah, and, okay, and, and distance wise. But I mean, you know, I'm, I'm out here dating and whatnot, and, and, and like I said, just like still. You know, um, trying to find the right one and whatnot. You know, like I said, when I find the right one and everything, then that's what is going to happen. All right, no doubt, you know, no doubt. Going, but I'm just going with the flow right now, just you know, picking and choosing who I should, you know, who I sh who should be my other half. Right, right, right. You better be, you better be a uh, real, real picky and choosy, because uh, seems like you got a lot going on. So.
You better make sure whoever you about to get with got something going on and something to bring to the table. Definitely somebody to bring to the table. Meet me halfway. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Me, yeah. You know, we don't on no groupy shit, but at the same time, like have my back, have my best interest, you know. Right, have right, my best right. Are hard. Hey, let me know. Where can they find Michael Isaiah as far as social media right now? Um, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, and uh, Facebook. Just put up my name, Michael Isaiah. Uh, M I C H A E L uh, I dash Z A Y A H. Okay, okay. And uh, Twitter, it's uh, at uh, Michael underscore Z eighty nine, and um, Instagram is uh, uh, Michael Isaiah underscore eighty nine. All right, all right, y'all heard it, y'all heard it. Make sure y'all tune in. Well, we got a call coming in right now, but we in the middle of an interview, so we gonna ignore that one. All right, all right, all right. So, yo, like I said, yo, we got Michael Isaiah in here. Man, it's so great to have you in the studio, man. Appreciate it, man. It's been so long, you know. We've been listening to your music. We got commercials. I even want to, um, I have a commercial. I don't even know if you heard. Let me see if I can pull up a commercial where you actually in it. And I don't know if you heard this commercial on the station. What is it? Oh, uh, let me see. Where is it at? It's in... Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me see where is it at here. 